Right now that soup is our south of the border tortilla soup. It's got three Roma tomatoes, a carrot, some onion, cilantro, some taco seasoning, chicken bouillon, a dab of jalapeno, cheddar cheese, and three cups of water. Now that soup is healthier than regular store-bought soup because it doesn't contain the MSGs, the high sodium content, or the preservatives of store-bought soup. Not only is that soup healthier for you, it only takes 90 seconds to cook it. You can actually cook healthy soup just like that faster than you can heat up one can of store-bought soup on the stove. Right now I made you breakfast and I cooked you dinner, right? Be a horrible host if I didn't make you some cold ice cream for dessert. So I'm going to show you how we go from hot to cold real quick, make you some cold ice cream. Now there's 21 different flavors of ice cream that you'll receive in your Lifestyles cookbook that comes with the blender. There's over 300 different recipes in here. This goes with it. All right. You notice right here in the front on the LCD display, it's got a timer on it. That lets you know how much time's left in between cycles, just like your microwave at home. All right now as it heats up, you'll notice the steam will start to vent out of the top of the cap. That acts like a pressure cooker and keeps you from blowing your lid off in the process, all right? Now on our ice cream, I'm going to start off with some Welch's Fruit Juice Concentrate. You can use regular fruit if you like. This is a little cheaper and a little faster, okay? Now let's take a look at our soup. See that? You can't do that in a regular blender, all right? But remember, I told you it was a tortilla soup, so let's throw in some tortillas. At home, you could put in pre-cooked chicken or vegetables, maybe leftovers from your fridge. This is how you make a chunky soup. You just toss it in like that and tap your pulse key. All right, that's the same key you'll use to shred cheeses, grind coffees, and make salsas. Now you've got a hot chunky soup. And these jars, they're not glass or plastic either. They're a polycarbonate, bulletproof material. You won't break the jar. Let's say you get in a hurry in the kitchen and you drop your jar. You're like me, you'll drop your jar once or twice. But it's alright, see? It just bounced for you. See my wife? She uses hers as a step stool when she wants to reach something in the kitchen. No, I'm teasing, don't do that at home, all right? Let's get you some soup. Okay, but I promised you the cold ice cream. Now, if there's one thing I've learned, if you promise someone cold ice cream, you better deliver, all right? So remember, we started off with some Welch's Fruit Juice Concentrate. You can use regular fruit if you like. It's a little cheaper and a little faster. Then I'm gonna put in some non-fat, non-dairy creamer, all right? We'll put in some non-fat dried milk. You can use whole milk, skim milk, soy milk, any of your milk choices. Remember, this is a fat-free ice cream. You can make sugar-free ice creams, lactose-free ice creams, no limit to the types of ice creams you want to make with it. The only types of ice creams you're going to have a hard time making are Neapolitans, okay? I'm going to do Neapolitans too good. Now we're throwing some ice. Now, remember, this is a fat-free ice cream. So just like with fat-free ice creams or sugar-free ice creams, okay, you don't want to ruin your ice cream, make sure you're using fat-free or sugar-free ice. Okay. Now, what key do you think we're going to use to make ice cream? Probably the ice cream key, right? All right. Ice cream key is all the way over here on your left. Go ahead and push the ice cream key. Now, that ice cream key, that's going to start off on our lowest and slowest speed. That's where all the torque in the motor is. Uses that to crush up all the ice. Here in a second, it's going to speed up all by itself and it creates a vortex and pulls all the ingredients down into the blade. So again, you don't use spoons, spatulas, and plungers to assist it. It just does it. I'm going to get you some of this soup. But remember, this is like grandma's house, okay? Whoever doesn't try out their soup doesn't get dessert. Now, when you get that nice shiny star on the top like that, that's how you know you got good ice cream, right? If you want to shut your machine off early, you can push any key to shut it off early, all right? Now, you also have a manual control over here. You can push speed up, you'll get speed one. Push it again, you'll get speed two. Or you can hold it down, it'll automatically climb all the way to the high speed for you, okay? So you have that manual control if you like. Go ahead and push any key to shut it off early, and I'm going to do that, because I can see we got cold ice cream. You can't do that in a regular blender, all right? When you get that nice shiny star just like that. Now, the ice is the thickener in here, right? So if you turn this over and it all falls out on the floor, just scoop it back up and add ice. You're good to go. Okay. So you got cold ice cream. You can cook hot soups. You can make whole fruits and vegetable juices, margaritas and daiquiris. You can shred cheeses, grind coffees, and make salsas. You can even take peanuts and turn them into peanut butters. All right, so for all your nuts in the families, you know what to do with them. Now. Obviously, we brought you a quality product, and you demand a quality price. I know I would. See, in order to replace this machine, you're going to spend $200 on a grain mill. 
We'll take all you grains, wheat, corn, rice, and we'll turn them into flour in 50 seconds. It's all done in the same blade, same jar. You don't have to have two separate jars for your wet goods, dry goods here. It's all done in the same blade, same jar. Then you'll spend another $200 on the juicer, but remember, juicer spit out all the fiber. Not to mention they're a pain to clean when you're done. Then you'll spend another $275 on KitchenAids and Cuisinarts with all their attachments, like an erector set to put them all together, right? See, they do bread dough in 15 to 20 minutes. We do a one pound loaf of bread dough in five minutes. You get all the ingredients and the instructions right here in your Lifestyles cookbook that comes with your blender. We'll stop there. You're already up to $700 in three machines and you still can't make cold ice cream and cook hot soup. So you'll still need to get a coffee grinder, a food processor, and a professional cooker to try to replace one machine. You're well over $1,000 to try to replace it.